I am Chessie Harris, and I am answering the call from God to house, feed, clothe, and teach the orphans among us. Good face. I am Maxine Waters, and I am standing firm while reclaiming my time and breaking down barriers set down before me. I am Cicely Tyson. I am showing Hollywood what unapologetically black looks like, wrapped up in a quiet storm of talent and elegance. I am Serena Williams, and I am making a statement to those who oppose me each time I step on a court to claim a victory. I am Mamie Till Mobley, and I'm courageously showing the world what those monsters in Mississippi did to my baby Emmett and fighting for justice. I'm Fannie Lou Hamer, and I'm here to remind America that nobody's free until everybody's free while fighting for equality. I am Afeni Shakur. I am fighting the powers that be while birthing the voice of a generation. You look just like that. I am Maya Angelou, and I'm using the power of my voice to empower my people while using spoken and written words. I am Betty Shabazz. I am Merely Evers. And I am Coretta Scott King. And we are continuing the work that our husbands left behind. And we stand fearlessly against the wrong in our country. I am you. You are me. I am you. And you are me. And we are Black History. My Black History moment is the story of the Lovings. Their love was so strong that it moved a whole nation to support them and to be the first interracial couple that made that type of marriage legal. My Black History moment was when in my 8th grade English class we started reading the book Little Rock Nine and it inspired me because kids who were like me, my skin color, and they went to high school and I'm going to be going to high school soon and I loved the fact that they were able to fight for something and they were able to fight for the fact that I'm going to be able to go to schools with people like me and people not like me. My Black History moment is when I saw an episode starring Cicely Tyson portraying Marva Collins. Marva Collins was an educator. Um, she taught children that basically people had written off and she didn't give up on them and she actually looked for the good in each of the children and because of that and they knew that she cared, she was able to reach them unlike those others in public education. My Black History Moment is just to give tribute to the many, many courageous men and women of the old Hollywood, old Black Hollywood, such as Dorothy Dandridge, Lena Horne, Diane Carroll, and uh, Cicely Tyson, Felicia Rashad, so many more that I, that I love and could name. All these people inspire me to do what I do today, what I have a passion for today. And we definitely cannot forget Miss Hattie McDaniel, who paved the way. And she, she played a maid so she wouldn't have to be one in real life. And today we speak their names, and I'm thankful for them.